I do have to admit, though, I was very annoyed yesterday when they filled my advert show with some game awards. That was really annoying. I enjoyed at least two minutes and 20 worth of adverts and commercials, and for some reason, halfway through, people kept trying to talk about how proud they were of the games they'd made. Personally, I thought that was insulting and quite rude, you know? I, I just wanted to watch five more adverts about Fortnite. Why you had to stick someone up there saying, thank you for giving me the chance to talk about whatever. I don't care. Get off the stage. Okay? There's adverts to play, there's commercials to be viewed, there's money to be made. Why are you talking to me about how proud you are of a game you've made? Shut up, no one cares. Get off the stage, that's what it is. I don't want to hear a heartfelt speech from Neil Newbin about how games bring us together. I want to see Lego in Fortnite again. That's what I want to see. I don't want to hear Sven talk about how proud he is of everything he's done. No, forget that. Bring Matthew McConaughey back. I love that, honestly. Guys, do you want to talk about games? You want to watch the Game Awards? You want to see some game developers? Here's Timothy Chalamet. Thanks, Tim. Hey, Tim, how's that uh, Dune MMO going? You didn't know you were in one. That does not surprise me, Tim. Hey, guys, you guys want to listen to the, the heartfelt, real-life, lived experiences of people as they pour their passion into voice acting and their passion into directing and their passion into artistic design? No, shut up. Here's Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't completely um, blown away by it. They were like, look, we, we love that you've won an award and everything, and we love that you've got really important things to say, and we love that people care about you, but could you get off the stage a little bit quicker? Because we need to show more commercials. Oh, I swear to God. I swear to God. You didn't like the five-minute segment with a Muppet? I'm not saying that the video game industry hates women, but when you would prioritize a literal Muppet on stage over, I don't know, any woman that's, you know, made a game recently, you may be showing your your hand there. You may be kind of showing your your prejudice is showing slightly. Maybe don't. Look, I love the whole celebrity culture around video games thing, but when it's literally called the Game Awards, could we please just possibly maybe celebrate the games and the awards they have won and not the ultra super rich multimillionaires who people will look at and go, oh my God, I recognize them. That's all it is. It's literally just recognizing. It's it's for the media, yeah. It really is for the media. I just, I think that, if anything, I think that Neil Newbin giving a, a heartfelt, emotional, personal, deep, genuine speech, I, that was, uh, I was far too self-indulgent. You can do that in 20 seconds. Neil, we've got Fortnite trailers to play. Come on, wrap it up, Neil. How dare you talk about things that matter to you? We're not watching the Game Awards for that, Neil. We're watching it for the trailer for whatever comes next. We're watching it for Matthew McConaughey talking about Starfield for some reason. We're watching it... <laughs> How angry was Todd? Todd just sat there winning no awards. Oh, it was beautiful. So yeah, I just think that he sat there and not doing too much. Zelda didn't win. It's very... The problem is that the Zelda game was extremely similar to the other Zelda game. Like, extremely similar. So when you're looking at game of the year, I don't want game that we built last year and have improved upon slightly. I kind of want game that has taken something incredible and new and just done so much more with it than we thought we could do. I do think Baldur's Gate is a good, um, a really good winner for the industry, just to prove to people that RPGs aren't dead, you know? RPGs are not dead. You are right when you say that it very much did feel like a, um, it very much felt like a DLC for it. I felt the same way toward Tears of the Kingdom that I did toward New Vegas when I very first heard it existed. When I first heard that Fallout New Vegas existed, I thought it was DLC. I legit, I thought it was DLC for Fallout 3. I didn't realize it was a brand new game. And then I actually still haven't played it, but yeah, don't, don't hate me for not playing New Vegas. I'm sorry. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is just, it was, it showed where they are. Every now and again, a game comes along that shows you what that genre can do. That's what it is. Every now and again, you're like, hey, just so you know, this is what the genre can actually be, it can actually do. And I feel that Baldur's Gate 3 was a perfect example of this is where RPGs are now. You might not have kept up with them, but this is what we're doing. And that, I think, is extremely impressive. 
Yeah, that's what it is. I haven't played the Monster Hunter series either. Don't don't hate me for any of these things. Did you watch the Bard's Gate Awards last night? I did. I very much enjoyed watching the three-hour commercial that was interrupted by 48 minutes worth of, for some reason, awards. Um, yeah. I, I think it was a bit of a waste to take my, my three-hour industry commercial and fill it with, if anything, rather, you know, self-indulgent, time-wasting, uh, emotional speeches and some kind of recognition of the game industry. I found that very offensive and insulting. It was, uh, it was silly. I just wanted to watch more, more adverts for Fortnite. And yet, what I got was... I, something about games, I think? I don't know why it was there. Yeah. So, Joe Cat, who does the A Crap Guide to videos, actually timed it, and I think out of a three-hour show, 48 minutes was dedicated to the actual awards. Just consider that. A three-hour show, 48 minutes of relevance to awards and stuff. You want to just consider that? Because that, to me, seems crap. Yeah. Video game. I don't understand it. I just... I don't know who Neil Newbin is. I don't care. Bring Timothy Charlemet back. I've seen him on the telly. Therefore, I know that he is important. Who even is a Starian? Nobody cares. Okay? Get him off the stage. I don't care who any of these people are. What even is a Balder? Why have they got a gate? Bring back Matthew McConaughey. You know, I really like the fact that Alan Wake won so many awards and Sam Lake was allowed to say nothing about it. They were like, and the winner of all these awards, Alan Wake 2, Sam Lake, come to the stage. And as soon as he got up there, they were like, Sam Lake, get off the stage. And he just, just left. Yeah, stupid. Video game awards, were they any good? The bits about video games were. Someone even commented on Twitter saying, look, we don't want to see people just talking about their awards. Yes, we do. It's the video game awards. The people watching it play video games, like video games, care about video games, and want to know about the emotional and kind of cultural impact that the video game they love has had. What we don't want to do is watch even more adverts for projects that are coming up next year. If I wanted to watch an advert, I'd just watch regular telly. If I want to watch an award show about video games, I would watch a show called The Video Game Awards, not here is two and a half hours of adverts for upcoming projects that we've shoehorned some awards into. It, I'm sorry, but it very much irritates me that it has become... This is the perfect example of how corporate it has become. The video games that have won the awards are actually playing second-class citizen to the commercials for the video games that will be coming out soon that we want you to play because that's where the money is. What will happen if those games that you've advertised win awards? I'll tell you what will happen. They won't get the chance to talk about the awards because at the next award ceremony, you'll be bombarded by more adverts for more products. Do not care about the award. Consume product. That is all. Sorry, but I care a lot about video games, so I very much care about when people don't get the chance to talk about the games they've made. I want more ads for the ads so I can watch ads about my ads. Consume product, guys. Consume product. Just cons don't worry about that. Don't worry about Sven dedicating the award to a member of staff that sadly and tragically passed away, you know, after the creation of Baldur's Gate 3. Don't worry about Neil Newbin talking about his personal experience and difficulties in life and how the game is bringing everyone together. Don't worry about some independent game artists talking about the fact that they are so proud to finally bring their culture to a game that means a lot to them. Care about Timothy Charlemagne making a joke care about Matthew McConaughey doing the thing that you know him for. It's... It's callback humour. It's nostalgia bait. It's, hey, we know you're here for this because you love this, but look, a celebrity. It's not like there's a shortage of celebrities in the gaming world. Like, they could have got any famous game creator, any famous voice actor, any... anyone that we know and love to present something. That would have been great. But no. No, too much. Too much. Too much effort. 
I'm I'm 90% sure because I've I've been involved in award ceremonies not on that kind of scale but with the kind of energy that's involved in them before what it is is it's a chance for the people who are organizing it to spend company money to meet people that they want to meet it's a chance for the person that is organizing the whole process to say oh my god look at Matthew McConaughey quick bring them in that's it pretty much I've been involved in two award ceremonies for acting and I have very strong emotions and opinions and feelings on both of them because I feel that one they were both done incorrectly and I mean this is just like you guys want the tea do you want the drama do you want the drama of small time acting because I swear to god there is there is no drama like small time acting drama like semi pro acting drama because everyone in the semi-pro acting world, which is where you're earning enough money to make an, an okay living, but you're not full-time acting yet. That, that's pretty much what that is. And I used to, I was in that for a long time. This is drama. So I was in a, a couple of, of shows years ago, and one of them was nominated for an award. And I died really quickly. Bloody hell. One of them was nominated for an award. And this show, I was, I was the main character. And I was on stage the entire time, and I think it was a very good show. Uh, it was incredible supporting cast, phenomenal set dressing, really good script, just excellent, excellent show all round. And it got nominated for an award, and I did not win. And I thought, okay, fair play. Turns out the person that did win was the cousin of the guy that owns the award show. And then a couple of months later, I was in another show, and I wasn't meant to be in this show. But an actor dropped out, I stepped in at the last minute, and I was able to help out. And I won an award for that show. And when I won the award, I'm thinking, I wasn't actually on the stage that much. You know, my, my role was essential to the, the piece, but it was an ensemble piece. I wasn't the main character, I, I wasn't needed, I could have been replaced. Turns out, the guy that directed the show that I was in, that I stepped into to help out with, was the guy that was running the award show that time and I thought okay an award that I think I should have won I didn't because of um what's the word I'm looking for it's the uh, nepotism I suppose like yeah friendly nepotism and an award that I won that I actually don't think I should have won was again nepotism and it, it sounds really weird but when I went to accept it I obviously you've got to play the game you've got to be like thanks guys this is great but in my mind I'm thinking I don't deserve this. This should not go to me. You've given this to me to butter me up. You've given this to me as a as a thank you, not as a legitimate, you have performed well enough to earn this. And that left a real sour taste in my mouth, man. It really did. And since then, honestly, to me, a lot of award shows, especially when you see the people running them are getting huge celebrities involved, are, are literally just... We've got company money. I want to meet a celebrity. There you go. It's the same in everything, man. It's it's the it's the same in everything. It really is. The people in charge want to meet celebrities, and they can meet celebrities by spending money to have the celebrity be involved. That's it. That's all it is, man. Well, now I'm depressed. Yeah, so ultimately, everything in life is corrupt, and everyone's awful, and award shows are um, mostly just for the people in charge now that's not to say that we can't recognize the the brilliance the artistic brilliance of people because there are many people at that show who absolutely deserve to be recognized for their skill and their involvement in the industry without a doubt it just it leaves a sour taste in my mouth when they aren't the focus when you've got to rush someone off stage in order to fill your show with more paid adverts and everyone just wants that person to be on stage for longer. That leaves me wanting, you know? It really does. And I don't want to come across as bitter, because I'm not particularly bitter about anything I've been involved with before. I'm very proud of what I've done. I just think it's a shame that celebrations of the industry often so much become celebrations of corporate interests instead of successful artistic endeavours. I suppose that's what it boils down to, really, isn't it?